today is 12 31 21 so new year's eve tomorrow is 2022 we got a 2010 tundra and it, it's a key with a dot in it this key we bought from ebay we got it cut at the hardware store for four dollars it doesn't have a dot and i think it had like a tc on the package or something can't remember if it's a dot version or the g version but it's been cut so we're gonna give it a try for, so I'll show you that this, this key starts the car, but for some reason, I don't see any yellow or green light or a key symbol on this Tundra. And then I'm gonna start the car. And you can see my RPM just went up to 600, 700, and it's staying. I'm press the gas, and it goes. But no key symbol. And the other thing is strange about this car is Once it starts, okay, that's good. So here is the key that's not programmed. And when you start it, and again, no key symbol, we're gonna start it. And it just stays in the start position like that. And it shuts down by itself. So I guess that's a feature of this car. So the starter is just actually not stuck, or the key is not stuck. So let's go use our Octel Maxi Dash DS808. And so from here, you go to the car symbol, diagnostic. From here, you're gonna go to Asia, and we're gonna pick Toyota. And the other goal here is also the program, the remote, the fob. We'll deal with the key first. So we're gonna get to this car by going manual selection and auto selection. Auto means it's gonna read the VIN number for you. And if, here you hit read if this car is new enough sometimes it reads it for you <laughs> and if it's new it goes fast where is the remote again mm -hmm. oh so this is an aftermarket remote or the case maybe the real remote's inside i don't know Maybe I should have tried to open it up. Maybe the real remote's inside, but I don't have the FCC number. This doesn't have an FCC number. This doesn't, this is an aftermarket not FCC number. So if in reading fail, we're gonna punch it in. Can you give me the number? Can you give me the number? The, the VIN number. Right, so let's punch in our bin number five. T F D I five. F18 F18 A X 4891 Okay, enter. Hit okay. It's done to decode the VIN. And then we don't know which engine type we are. Uh, it doesn't say what kind of engine type we are. If not, we're gonna have to open the hood. Let's open the hood.
think the cable broke? Yeah, he, I think he said maybe something. So we have to use by hand? It's right there, it's locked in there. Oh, right here. Okay. There's our sticker. Three U R F E. Three U R F E is our model. Just leave it open. Three U R F E. That one. North America. Yes. Go to hot functions. Immobilizer. Manual remote match, auto remote match. Immobilizer. This section is not supported by your ECU. Ooh. We need to put a key in this car. Oh, there's wireless code registration. Let's try that. Can you close that door? Okay. Might, be, might be doing the remote here, we'll see. Driver's door is open. So all doors are closed. Driver's door symbol is open, or just door symbol is open. Two, number of remotes currently registered two. So hit next. On the next interface, you will have to perform the operation within 30 seconds. On the remote transmitter, push the lock unlock simultaneously for one second. Within three seconds, press either the lock or unlock button again for one second. Okay. Okay, so within 30 seconds, hit these two buttons. And then. There it goes. The wireless collision is complete. Hit next. So what I did was I hit these two buttons, and then afterwards I hit this button, and you hear a car went click. So that means this is remote learned. Function serves a wireless remote. Please confirm the initial on. Okay, we're gonna we're done with this. We don't have anything else to learn. Yes. So let's try that. It's working. Cool. Now we're gonna go back to the key part, which is the more important one. Manual remote match. Oh, we're doing immobilizer. Manual remote match. Open the driver door and remove the key from the ignition. Insert the key in the ignition and remove it consecutively two times within five seconds. Close and open the driver door two times with 40 seconds. Insert the key into the emotional press. Oh, it wants us to do all this manually. All right, so let's get out of here and let's go to auto remote match. Immobilizer. 
This function is not supported by ECU. Oh, that sucks. So we got so that's done. Can't use the computer on this. So we're gonna have to do it manually. And remote match. So follow the, so this video is done at ten minutes. I have to follow these instructions to manually do it.